Now, for President Javier Malay, July data showed a larger than expected upturn. This is encouraging news after the economy has been mired in its sixth recession in a decade. Economic activity grew 1.7% in July from June. That compared to the median estimate for 0.6% growth of economists surveyed by Bloomberg. From a year ago, activity fell 1.3%. Economic activity is a proxy for GDP and South America's second biggest economy is now showing signs of recovery. Wage growth edged above inflation for three straight months in June. Consumer spending and manufacturing are showing gains in recent months. And despite the battered economy he inherited, Millet must look at the lowering inflation, which is now hovering around 4% for four consecutive months. At the same time, he needs to revive economic activity if he wants to keep his approval ratings over 50%. According to polls, Argentines are becoming more concerned about unemployment than inflation, and Malay's disapproval ratings reached a new high this month. Economists surveyed by Argentina's central bank estimate GDP to reverse and grow by 3.5% growth next year. Thursday's data is expected to show poverty rose about 50% in the first half of the year. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.